All right, hello everyone, Rob here with ScrappyDoo.com and in this video we're gonna show you how you can do some pre-upload processing in order to uh, you know, clean up a file or maybe even separate uh, you know, the body from the hair here. So uh, this was all one file uh, to begin with and we did two separate uploads in order to get the hair and the body. So we're gonna show you how you can isolate those things uh, in the upload process. All right, so uh, to go back to the beginning here, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the image and I'm gonna go ahead and browse. Now what I use is a PNG file. PNG files sometimes have a transparent background. Those work a lot better uh, for these types of images because you're gonna see we have a checkerboarded uh, background that indicates that the background is transparent. Now for this, I am gonna choose a complex image and I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. From here, I do need to zoom out a little, and we need to choose what do we first need to isolate. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and isolate the body first, and then we'll come back in and grab the hair. So uh, what tools do we have available to us? Uh, we, we have the crop, we have the uh, select and erase, and then we also have the erase. So let's go ahead and use this magic wand here. If I click on it and go into advanced options, uh, I do want to increase the tolerance here because uh, this will allow me to select uh, more variants of that color uh, when I click on here. So if I click on the hair, we can see that the hair disappeared. All right. So I do see, if we zoom in here, we have some specs here. We can clean that up utilizing the eraser. Now I'm going to go ahead and increase the brush size of the eraser just so that we can clean it up even further. So uh, that's what I did for that. Like I said, increase the tolerance and then utilize the eraser. And that's what gets us the body. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And it was a print then cut image. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to isolate the hair and we're going to utilize those same exact tools in the upload process so that we can grab the hair. So I'm going to go back to the upload image. I'm going to go ahead and choose browse and then I'm going to choose that exact same image. I'm going to hit open. Now same thing like before. I'm going to click on complex image. Click continue. Zoom out just like before. Now this time I'm going to use a tool because I I'm going to help myself here by clicking on the crop tool. When I click on the crop tool, I can then put this little blue bounding box right here. And I just need it big enough to collect the hair. So that gives me a good start. Now I'm going to go back to the magic eraser, or magic wand rather, and I'm going to go ahead and increase the tolerance again. Uh, you know, something something around the 50. Like I said, if, if you're clicking on this and you decide to click over here and it's picking up too much, uh, then you may want to undo and then decrease the tolerance. So this gets us at a good point, uh, you know, where it got us all the way up to the hairline. I'm going to go ahead and use the eraser and uh, finish up the job here utilizing it. So just going around all these points here and picking up this last part over here. All right. So now that it is done, I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. That looks good. I'm going to keep that as a print and then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now uh, we are presented with our two items that we had, which is the body and the hair. So when I select both of those, I click insert image. It's going to place them on here. Uh, sometimes you may have to resize things. As you can see, this hair is a little bit uh, you know, too big. So you will have to do some manual resizing in order to get it to f function properly. But uh, that's how I did it. Uh, you don't have to place a bunch of objects around the hair or the head and slice. We did all this in the upload phase. So uh, that, that's a quick little tip for you guys that are using Design Space that uh, you know maybe you didn't know you had some photo editing skills built into Design Space. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, comment down below if you learned something, all right? Until next time, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com. Bye.